there and welcome to your wonderful fabulous life now in this video i'm going to be sharing with you the proven remedy for feeling stressed out and anxious that you can implement immediately and guess what it comes straight from the word of god so stay tuned we are closer closer than before Welcome to your wonderful, fabulous life. I'm Rhonda Crawford, and I'm so glad you're joining me today. Now, today, we're talking about the S word that I know all of us are dealing with during this season, and that is the word stress. A lot of us are feeling stressed out, we're feeling anxious, we're feeling overwhelmed, and today, I'm going to give you the proven strategy on how to deal with it straight from the Word of God. So what in the world is stress? What is stress? Stress is emotional, it's physical, it's mental strain and tension. And when stress builds up over time and it's not managed properly, it just balloons into this situation where we are just this ball of anxiety, just going somewhere to just burst open on someone. You know, we're just full of thoughts like, okay, coronavirus, I really don't wanna get it, but what if I get it? What's gonna happen with my kids? next school year are they going back to school physically or are they going to be at home doing online education if they're home doing online education how in the world am i going to administrate that for a whole new school year what's going on with my job am i going to be able to have my job or am i going to be able to find a new job what's going on with me and my spouse we had an argument and i said some things that i shouldn't have said he said some things he shouldn't have said. What's going on with that? We just end up having all of these thoughts that are just in our head, in our brains, and it makes us feeling feel like we are at a place where we want to explode. So how do we handle ourselves in that situation where we have all of these anxious thoughts coming to us from everywhere it seems and it doesn't seem like we can focus on anything. It doesn't like seem like we even really feel like doing anything. It just seems like we're in a place where we are just unproductive and overwhelmed. Well, I wanna tell you first, the thing you absolutely do not want to do, 100% don't do this. And that is do not pick up the phone do not take out your phone and call your friend and begin to complain about all the stuff that's going on to make your life so horrible. See, I want you to understand something. The way that you think and the words that you say will eventually become the things that you see in your life. And so when we begin to speak our anxious thoughts, when we begin to speak those fearful thoughts that we're having, what we're doing is we're saying, hey, those thoughts belong to me. I'm taking that thought as my own. It's mine. Come stay here in my life. Well, how do I know all that? Well, I know it. I want to show it to you right now. It's in Matthew chapter 6. This is what Jesus said. He's talking to us. And he's talking to us about times when we would feel anxious, times when there would be the temptation to fall over into fear and to worry. And he says this this in Matthew chapter 6 verse 25 he says therefore I say unto you take no thought for your life what you shall eat or what you shall drink nor yet for your body what you shall put on is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment and then in verse 31 he says therefore take no thought saying take no thought saying what shall we eat or what shall we drink or wherewithal shall we be clothed. So he says that once we start to have those thoughts and we begin to say those thoughts, we take those thoughts. And when we take the thought, we say, hey, bad thought, guess what? You have permission to be in my life. You have permission to run rampant in my thoughts. You have permission to torment me. You have permission to go ahead and manifest yourself in the things that I am seeing in my life. Okay, so now that's the bad news, but I wanna share with you, there's also good news that comes from this as well. Because if I can take a thought that's negative, that is trying to kind of torment me and bombard my mind, and if I say it, I take it, well then that means that I can also shift and I can say something that represents what I actually wanna see in my life, and when I say that, 
I can then now take a thought that's a good thought, take a thought that's a peace thought, take a thought that now is an abundance thought, and I can begin to say that thought, and then it should have the opposite effect. Okay, so do this with me. Let's let's have this exercise. I want you to just just think about anything. Just think about one thing. It could be thinking about your dog, thinking about you know uh, the weather outside, thinking about what you want to eat for dinner today, thinking about you know a family member. Just close your eyes and think about anything under the sun for a few seconds. Just one thing for a few seconds. You ready? Okay, think. All right. Now while you're thinking about that, I want you to open your mouth and say your name. Okay, did you do it? Did you open your mouth and say your name? Now, what happened? What, what happened to the thought that you were thinking before you opened your mouth and said your name? Well, the thought that you were thinking, it had to yield, it had to take a step back to the thought that now came as a result of you speaking whatever it is that you said, your name. So when you said your name, for that split second, the thought that you were thinking at that moment had to back up and it really wasn't there on the forefront of your mind. And this is the biblical remedy for stress and anxiety. It's saying the right thing when you're in the place and, and facing different thoughts that are trying to overwhelm you and make you full of anxiety. So what's the best thing to say during that time? Well, the best thing, hands down 100 percent the best thing to say when you are facing times of feeling stressed out and anxious is simply straight from the mind of god the word of god speaking the word of god see i want you to understand something the word of god is creative it's not just words on a page it's not just a sunday school story it's not just you know cute verses that you may have heard you know, before growing up or you may have heard recently, the word of God has creative ability. And I want you to want to let you in on something else. The most important human voice you are ever going to hear speak the word of God is your own. And when you begin speaking the word of God, you are taking the remedy that Jesus told us about. You're, you are saying to that thought, that is unproductive, that thought that is full of fear, that thought that is full of anxiety, you're telling that thought to shut up and you're telling it to give place to what God says about your situation. All right, so now what's a good scripture that I can use from the word of God that I can actually say out of my mouth when I'm having these distressing and stressful thoughts? Well, one that is an excellent scripture for you to use in the area of peace comes from Philippians chapter four, verses six and seven. And the way that I've done it is I've taken the scripture and I've just made it personal and you should do the same. Just make it personal to you so that as you're saying it, you're saying this is what's happening in my life right now. And so Philippians four, six and seven, you would say it like this. I am not anxious or worried about anything, but in everything, every circumstance and situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, I continue to make my specific request known to God. And the peace of God, that peace which reassures my heart, that peace which transcends all understanding, that peace which stands guard over my heart and my mind in Christ Jesus is mine. Peace is mine. My, I don't care how many times I have to say it. If I've got to say it 10 times a day to combat those thoughts that are still trying to come back, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to repeat it until I see victory in my thought life where my thought life starts to come in line with what God says about me. And that is the Bible solution. That is the solution that is 100% all the time victorious if you will continue to be consistent in it. I trust that this has been of value to you. And if it has, I want to ask you to go ahead, press like, share it with others. Let them know that you're stepping over out of anxiety and over into the peace of God. And I also want you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel so every time I upload a new and encouraging video, you can be alerted so that you can take advantage of it. 
We hope to see you soon. Be blessed. See you next week. We're